Hello guys, welcome to Tiffany's channel. I hope you enjoyed the first video. And next video, we're gonna be treating a body tree like this. Now we we'll just edit the video. And now the first one, we we'll, we'll just use this one. And then we we'll put in the, the grab. You guys will enjoy the video. Don't mind my hairstyle because I'm going to the hairdresser soon. Bye. All right, guys. So usually the money tree comes in a regular nursing pot like this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna repot it and put it in a pot a little bit bigger than the nursing pot. This pot, I think this is like a six inch pot. So you don't want to put it in a much bigger pot than what it's in because you don't want to shock the plant. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix regular potting soil with some perlite. This is what perlite looks like. And I got this from Everglow. So what perlite is basically used for is to just aerate the soil and give the soil a little bit of air, a little bit of space, so when you're actually watering the plant, the water can flow through the soil. So I'm gonna mix a little bit, not really a lot, of the perlite into the soil, and then I am just gonna backfill. Usually I put gravel at the bottom of the pot, and the reason I do this is because money trees are prone to root rot. So because I don't want plant to rot of course I'm gonna put some gravel at the bottom of the pot and then I'm gonna take this out so I'm gonna take this out this actually has gravel in it already so I am just gonna throw the gravel in this then I'm not going to break up the roots, I'm not going to break up the old soil that is on it. I'm just going to put it in the pot like this. And then I haven't mixed my soil as yet. So I'm going to mix my soil and I'm going to come back. So I already put some potting soil in this. This is what I'm going to use to mix it. So I'm going to put some perlite. Oh, the perlite is very dusty so when you're putting in the perlite ensure that you put on a mask i don't really have a mask with me right now so i'm just gonna throw in some of the perlite but you know you get the gist like yeah you get the gist yeah so don't be like me guys make sure when you're putting out the perlite not ever. You put on a mask. <laughs> That's actually the correct right now. So, what we're gonna do, as I said before, we're gonna center it. Girl, come help me now. No! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I won't help you. But, guys, this is not even a normal video. Let me just help so what we're doing we're backfilling so backfilling is basically just filling out the space that is already in the pot because remember we never take off the old soil so we're backfilling don't brush it Hurt the So now you want to press down the soil a little bit. Yes. No, not too much because you don't want it to be compact. Because remember, we're trying to create air spaces in between the soil. So when we water it, the water can come through the drainage holes. This pot actually has drainage holes at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. So that's that. You're going to 
with money you're messing up the place so yeah so that's basically it yes. that's how you repot a money tree very simple very easy so after you repot it usually i wait 24 hours before i water it and that is it i'm gonna try and do some historical facts a little bit later so you know i can tell you guys how the money tree came about and the different we're gonna call that now the different meanings behind and more nice we're going to see a soon on our next video and we're going to edit it and tell you about <laughs> No, I thought you were going to edit the video for you. Yeah, you can edit it later. Okay. <coughs> Before I get my hair style. The historical facts behind the money tree is that a Taiwanese truck driver, he uh, stumbled upon this plant and he decided to sell it. A lot of persons like the style, the braided trunk, so they decided to purchase a lot of it. It became extremely popular and it gave him great wealth. So that's why it's called the money tree, right? And then I am gonna tell you guys a little bit about it here. So it doesn't really require a lot. As I said before, it's prone to root rot. So you don't want to over water it you don't want to over water it at all usually i would water my money trees like every two weeks you can even push it up to every three weeks but don't water it every week don't water it every day it doesn't really like a lot of water so ensure that you don't over water it and as for temperature and sunlight it strives in indirect sunlight so don't put it out in direct sunlight. It can actually squash the leaves. And you know, you want healthy and nice plants. And if you're putting it close to a window, ensure that you turn it because, or rotate it. Because if you don't rotate it, it might lean to one side and we don't really want that. So ensure that you always rotate it. For it to grow up straight because you don't want it to lean to the side so that's the purpose of rotating it it loves humidity so if you want to purchase a humidifier then you can and you can put it close to the money tree if you don't have a humidifier though that's okay you can group up other plants around it so it will increase the humidity because it loves humid environments and that's it guys thank you come on thank you for watching our video <laughs> thank you for watching bye and i will see you guys on youtube in the next video, video. bye